Hi, George here. And today I'll be showing you how to do a fun and easy portrait effect, putting a zoom into the background back here. And we'll start off here by making a duplicate of the background. Go over here where it says background, right click and duplicate. And do it a second time, same thing, right click and duplicate. Hide the background there, that's just our safety. In case things mess up, we can always go back and get a new copy right here. This is gonna be our zoom layer. And the top one here, this is going to be our subject layer. There we go. Now the first thing we need to do is to separate the subject out from the background. So I'll hide that zoom layer. And on this layer, go over here to our tools. You may see the rectangular marquee tool up here. Go to the marquee tools. Come down here to freehand selection tool. And then up here on type, set this to freehand. And on mode, set that to new right there. Okay, now just take your cursor up here and then draw a simple selection right around the figure. Don't go into the figure and just come around outside. If you kind of hit the figure, it's okay. It's not going to really cause that much of a problem. Come around the outside of the picture down here and then back up along this other side and take a clear around back up to the top again and then right back to that beginning and then stop right on top of that blue dot. And here's our selection. We now need to get the selection in much tighter to the figure. And we'll do that by using the refine tool right there. Click on refine. Here's the refine tool. I'll have all these settings alone. This red coloration, this is an overlay so you can see where you're working. You can choose different overlays, black matte, white matte, black and white, transparent. But for this project, overlay is perfect. And then take this circle in here. This is your brush size. And that's right there, 50 pixels, which is good for this. And then come just a little ways into your figure and brush along like that. The first time you do this on any new picture, it may take a few moments longer for that first stroke. That just sometimes happens. Once that's done, the rest of them will go very easy. Now I like doing this in just little motions like this, just a little bit at a time. And let Affinity Photo figure that edge out. It goes back in and it looks for differences in the edge and it gives you a nice clean edge. Now it's not always perfect. There will be some problems, but we'll fix those. That's easy to do. Let's get this top side up here and down over here. Now, Affinity Photo is very good at doing this kind of an edge, especially around here. I always get good results here with Affinity Photo. Okay, let's come down this side and come around and then get this elbow over here and off the picture there. Okay, now we have a spot here that we missed and a spot here that we missed. And Infinity Photo kind of messed up on the pant leg right there. Need to fix those areas. Everything else looks good. It's a little thin up here. And we can fix that again as a second pass. A couple little spots right there. But that looks okay. And then we want to have this output to a selection. Choose Apply. And there's our selection. Okay, now let's go back to our selection tools. Back up where it says Freehand. And change it to Polygonal. I want to remove some of this stuff down here. So let's change this over to remove or subtract. And let's zoom in right down here. With the polygonal tool, you click in points and then Affinity Photo goes in and fills in those points for you with lines. Very easy when you're doing this kind of a careful selection. So let's go along the pant leg right here and out and around and back to that blue dot. And that's fixed. Okay, so take out this section here, same thing. Just put a dot and come in here and just work your way around. Now with this polygonal lasso tool, make sure you don't click too quickly or your selection may collapse. So give it a beat between each time you click and you should be just fine. And the nice thing about this is you can get it exactly positioned. So it's very good for small areas like this. If you're going around a curve, just put your dots a little closer together if it's a straight line, you can put them further apart. Okay, back onto the blue dot to begin with. Let's get this one up here. And we'll come around and take care of this. There we go. Again, same thing. Just giving it a beat between each dot I'm placing down. And then letting Affinity Photo fill in the lines between those points. And it makes a very good, very clean selection. Now we're going back on top of the same picture, so it doesn't need to be absolutely perfect. It's one of the nice things about this particular trick, this zoom background. Back to the dot, there we go. 
Let's zoom out. I'll use Control Zero to center and fit screen. Let's now convert this over to a layer mask that's right hand side over here on your layers. It's that button right there, mask layer. Click on that. There's our layer mask. And now do Control D to deselect. Now the mask is in black and white. And notice that white is where the figure is and black is outside the figure. That means I can paint on the layer mask. Let's just open this up. You can see that better. Here we go. I can paint on this layer mask with black and remove some more stuff. So I'll do that for our paintbrush here. I have black as my foreground color and opacity and floor set at 100%. Hardness is 25. That's just the softness of the edge. And with this, you can come in and clean out some of that background stuff. It's not that critical on this kind of a portrait, but I still like being a little cleaner as opposed to a little less clean. Okay, there we go. That looks good. Maybe a little bit right there and right down here. All right, so we have our subject taken care of now. Let's now hide that layer mask. There it is. That's just a little arrow right there. Hide that again. Come down to our zoom layer. Hit that visibility button. We're on the zoom layer. Here's the fun part. Go up here to filters, come down to blur, and then choose the zoom blur right there. Let's make them in like that so you don't see anything. Just bring your radius up, and the more you bring it up, the more of a zoom effect happens. You see it's beginning to happen right in there. And for this, just take it all the way to the top, those real nice long streaks. Now, to get a real good look on your background, you want to have a lot of stuff back in there with light areas and dark areas. That gives you that streaky effect. If the background is too similar, you won't get those streaks in there. So having kind of a messy background does help on this, gives you a real nice streaky effect. And then apply that, and there we go. There is that zoom effect portrait. No touch on a few techniques in here. We used layers in here, a layer mask, and of course we did that effect right here and selections. If you want to learn more about those different tools and everything in this program, I have a complete training course for this. It's a video training course, it covers the whole program, and I'll put a link for that in the description. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Give me a like. Also, make sure you're subscribed. I'm doing new videos all the time, and I'll see you next time.